So today we're going to be doing the meme team, a bunch of players who've just become a bunch of memes, unfortunately for them, but for us, it gives us some entertainment. I tried to stick to players that are still active today. So Jose Canseco, um, Adrian Beltre, uh, Prince Fielder, players like that, they're not on this roster. So if I did miss out on any players after we go over the roster, go ahead and let me know in the comment section who I missed out on. There definitely were some names that I missed out on, but I tried to get some of the best memes that I could think of. If you guys missed last video, I tried to repeat what the Nationals did in real life, obviously win a World Series. It's a pretty decent video. We took three attempts to try to win a World Series. Go ahead and give it a watch. It's on screen as well as in the top right hand corner. Again, guys, if you do enjoy the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. Make sure you turn on bell notification icons to be notified whenever a video does go live. And also in the comment section, leave video ideas you would like to see in the future. I've got a couple of you guys' ideas written down and I definitely will have them for you over the weekend. Other than that, guys, all social media links are down below. Go and give Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff a follow. And again, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know some future videos you would like to see. Other than that, guys, let's hop into it. Let's take a look at this meme team roster. All righty, so let's start with the starting pitchers because we got some good ones. We obviously have the choker, Clayton Kershaw, just in the playoffs. Just can't do it. Verlander recently became a meme for falling and not being able to throw the ball to first base. So unfortunately for him, it was in the postseason, but it's, it's a good meme. It's a kind of a funny meme. Next up, we got Kyle Hendricks, who just doesn't show any emotion at all. Um, if you guys just look it up, he literally just, he'll he'll strike out somebody with the bases loaded. He'll get out of a bases loaded jam. He'll just walk off the mound, no emotion at all. It's becoming sort of a meme at this point. Cueto for his shimmies on the mound, just kind of been a meme with his windups and deliveries, things like that. So that's where he's kind of become a meme from. We got Mike Fires, who kind of had like a weird cat tail beard or a, I don't, a number six. I don't know what it was, but it, it was it was weird. We got Jason Vargas, who looks like he came from Revolutionary War and decided to come pitch. I don't know what was going on with his looks there, but it, it was it was a good meme for a while. I, I like that one. We have James Shields, big game James. Oh man, how how do you go from a solid pitcher to just boom, absolutely horrible? He also allowed the home run to the next guy in the team. Big sexy Bartolo Colon. Obviously, he's like the big meme of baseball. And I think he knows it as well. Next up, we got Hansel Robles, who likes to point to the sky. No matter what happens, if that ball's hit, he's making sure he's pointing to it in the air. And I think that's the, really the only reliever we have. For closing pitchers, we got Mr. Smiley. Just, I don't know what that smile was in the postseason after he gave up that home run. But that became a meme because everyone was making fun of him. Like, oh, now I get to leave the Yankees. And we got Ke Keg? Keg? Kimbrel. Craig Kimbrel, who's obviously got like a... Like a, a bird, a bird stand where he can just let the a little bird hang on his arm or something. I don't know what his elbow is. That's what it is. JT Ramuto became a meme after he saw the man run. I forgot who it was, the pitcher that came out of the bullpen. And you could just see his just disappointment when he saw him come out of the bullpen. It was pretty funny. We got Little Sexy or Big Sexy or La Tartuga, whatever you want to call him. Williams Astudio, who, who wants to prove that big people can can get moving can big people can run williams at studio is a treasure we gotta we gotta keep gotta keep around edwin Encarnacion, obviously the parrot has become sort of a meme g man Choi. if on twitter you haven't seen g man Choi dancing you guys gotta look it up they just put him dancing to a bunch of different songs hilarious g man Choi is the man chris davis has become a meme just for being absolutely awful oh man it is so bad it is, uh, you just, you gotta fight, figure something out, man. It's been terrible. Altuve has kind of been a meme with Aaron Judge, like the really tall, really small ordeal. The picture that came out, I found that's, it's, it's a pretty big height difference. Derek Dietrich's become sort of a meme for being like a, just, just a really good character 
in a clubhouse obviously he had that fake mustache that he was wearing for a game with the reds he, you can see him working out in the dugout so there's a bunch of different memes going on with Derek dietrich and then we have rugned odor obviously he kind of looks like an elf so he's already got that meme going for him so there's that shortstop or no we're actually going to go to third base that's right pablo sandoval became kind of a meme because he broke his belt change teams he broke his belt while swinging kung fu panda Got that belly. Elvis Andrews used to make a bunch of jokes and just play around in the infield with Adrian Beltre. So that's why I kind of threw him in the team. Next up, we got Juan Soto, who likes to touch his nuts a lot while he's in the batter's box. So that's why we got him in the squad. Next up, we got Billy Hamilton, who's just just doesn't know how to swing a bat. If he could just put the ball in play on the ground, the dude would be a decent hitter. He just can't do that. He can't even lay down a bunt. So Billy Hamilton is a meme right field we got aaron judge obviously connected to altuve with the small tall deal we got puig who likes to lick his bat i think he was quoted as saying he thinks it's an ice cream cone i don't know it's kind of weird but that's the meme team uh it's it's interesting for sure i think the pitching's really gonna let us down uh maybe not the starting rotation but the bullpen for sure and then the lineup i'm still kind of figuring out what i want to do with this it, it looks good. We got some really solid players. I'm just not sure if this is like, if I want to rock with this lineup, if I want to move it around a little bit. I definitely don't want Billy Hamilton anywhere near the top of the lineup. That's basically what that comes down to. But overall, the team doesn't look too bad. I'm pretty sure we're ranked first in baseball. Second. So it's not, it's not terrible at all. Speed's pretty bad. The defense is pretty bad. But we got good pitching, good power, good contact. So, so far, so good. So, uh, yeah. Let's just hop into it, see how the meme team does, and uh, maybe we could win a World Series. Who knows? All right, so I said we might win a World Series, and I didn't think the team was going to be this good. Like, it is it's pretty good, 108 and 54, but we're, we're taking on the winner of the wild card, so we, we, know, we know we're done. The season's over. We don't even have to worry about it anymore. So let's take a look. Clayton Kershaw did well. Justin Verlander did well. Um, it looks like pitching wise, very, very solid. I'm um, glad to see a lot of um, league leaders for that. Even Aroldis Chapman's up there with the saves. Aaron Judge was up there with home runs. So we can see some stats there. We got a Cy Young in Verlander, which is good. Um, so we had 108 wins. We're actually ranked fifth now. So we've dropped, which is a little worrying. So I'm kind of worried that maybe some players have started to regress in overalls, which is going to be scary to see. So we got Clayton Kershaw, who, whew, look at that year. ERA's low, whips low, 19 and 5 on the year. And then Verlander, geez, 23 and 5, 223 ERA, and a 1.02 whip. I mean, either one of these guys could definitely won Cy Young. Kyle Hendricks was good as a three starter. A 3.34 ERA is amazing. Low whip, wins and losses perfect we got the shimmy man himself johnny cueto struggled a little bit but i'm still not like disappointed by that and then mike fires really good year really happy with that so really cueto is kind of like our five jason vargas as a long reliever was meh you know hansa robles was decent bartolo cologne look at him that's a season for big sexy right there we got big game james who is not going to be put in any big games whatsoever craig kimbrell was atrocious and then Aroldis Chapman was solid um I doubt what maybe like three or four blown saves yeah that's pretty good I'm pretty happy with the way the pitching went for the most part I knew the bullpen was going to be a little sketch but for the most part it was really solid Pablo Sandoval oh man 200 at bats and you didn't you had more at bats than your average was like your at bats were higher than your average that's not good uh the La Tortuga had himself a year Chris Davis pretty bad g-man Choi was pretty bad and rugnet odor wasn't amazing either elvis andrews really solid 24 home runs 85 rbis 41 doubles 36 stolen bases hold on what are you serious all right we had el tuve 32 doubles almost 30 home runs almost 100 rbis rbis he had 30 stolen bases as well 309 average Juan Soto, 20 home runs, 72 RBIs, 34 doubles. Okay, not terrible either. Aaron Judge, 50 home runs, 28 doubles, almost a 300 average. I mean, and a 1027 OPS. 
We had Puig have himself a year as well. 25 steals for Puig. What's going on here with all these stolen bases? If Edwin has stolen bases, we got a problem. He had nine? What's going on with this team? 26 home runs, 80 RBIs as well. That's good. JT Realmuto, not terrible. For some reason, he just never does well in franchise, but that's not a terrible season for a catcher. Billy Hamilton hit 233. He had 32 stolen bases. Okay, what about Derek Dietrich? 31 home runs, 33 doubles, almost 100 RBIs. I will take that for sure. Really happy with the way the team played. And now let's go get knocked out in the playoffs by the Tampa Bay Rays. Game one, we win 11 to two, one to nothing. And then Mike Fires, can you get us the win? We actually advanced. We did not get knocked out by the wildcard team. This might be the year. If we can beat the wildcard team, this might be the year. So next up, we're gonna we're gonna move uh, the the rotation around because as much as I trust you, Johnny Cueto, I don't really trust you. I'm lying. Um, so against the Indians, we lose the first, win the second. All right, we got a little bit of a streak going, and we're in the World Series taking on the Dodgers. Okay. I'll take that. Everything's going as planned. The meme team. I mean, I just, I'm just at a loss for words. The meme team. Can we complete the dream? Win in a World Series. We might actually. Holy cow. What is going on? This is, this is getting a little intense right now. Dodger Stadium. Three game lead. Mike Fires against Julio Tehran. Um, let's go. I guess we'll just leave it like this. All right, can we get this off right? Let's get like three home runs first inning. I'll take bases loaded. I'll take that. I'll take three runs in the first for sure. Let's keep going. Let's keep adding on to this lead. Um, doesn't look like much has changed besides Julio Tehran on the Dodgers. Aaron Judge adds another two runs and we got a five run lead here. All right, okay. What is going on with this team? I, I really don't know what's going on. This is insane. This is crazy. This doesn't happen. Normally, we're getting knocked out in the first round of the postseason. And we got a six-run lead. Heading into the sixth. Okay. Mike Fires is pitching a gem. That was the first. The no. The Was that a perf perfect game up until that point? I don't think so. I think he had a walk. But the no-hitter broken up in the seventh. Oh, that's tough. Double play gets him out of it. I want to keep him going, but I, as I do that, he gets a, a RBI. Are you kidding me? I was going to take him out, and uh, I might, let's see if we can keep him going for one more inning. Unless things get a little shaky, then I'll take him out. But he gets out of it, and this is insane. Now, we're going to enter the game for sure. Uh, we're going to enter the game. We're going to make a pitching change, and we got to bring him in. Bartolo Colon's coming in. Let's do this. All right, so I hate to do that to Mike Fires. Pitching a gem in, like, the winning World Series game, game four. But we got a man on first. Bartolo's up. Like, we got it. We had to. We got to get big sexy in this. Close out the game. Like, there's no other reason why we, you know, why we shouldn't get Bartolo involved. But just to be safe, I am going to get other pitchers warmed up just in case things get a, a little dicey. But I have a feeling Bartolo is going to be the man with the plan. He's going to get us out of this 2-2 two -two count to Cody Bellinger. And uh, let's let's do this. I, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. I almost lost all confidence right there because uh, that was almost extra bases down the line. And as I say that, it gets through. So... I'm going to give Bartolo maybe another batter or two, see how things go. If he can get a double play here, that would be huge. So let's see what we can do. Jock Peterson's up. All right. That's a ball? What? Yo, Bartolo's getting screwed. What? Are you kidding me? The entire ball is in the zone. There, okay, now we get the calls. Now we get the calls. This is insane. Ah oh, man. All right, let's uh let's let's go up and in with the fastball. The high cheese pops him up. That should be the first out. 
I was gonna try to drop it, maybe turn two, but of course they call the infield fly. Max Muncy. Come on, let's get a double play here. His pitches hang so much. Oh my God. But we're gonna go back to the changeup. I feel confident in it. That's gonna get through. Come up throwing. Bases are loaded. Throw, okay. Just take your time and left. What are you doing? Bases loaded. I f I'm still confident. It's Bartolo. He's going to do it for us. I don't care. We're getting it out. Maybe Bartolo is not the man. You know, maybe <laughs> maybe we're making a mistake here. All right. That's a good spot with the change. High fastball. Are we going to get another out? I mean, I'll take it. Two outs for Bartolo. Here we go. Base is loaded, though. I mean, who's going to be up? Pinch hitter, most likely, right? Oh, no. Will Smith. Huh. Oh, that's that's it. Throw it to first. That's a World Series. Bartolo closing the game out. Big Sexy's got that World Series now. And who would have thought the meme team was going to win a World Series with ease? So as the celebration goes on in the background, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. And again, in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see also let me know who i missed out on in the meme team this this is insane so guys let's go take a look and see who won the world series mvp and the postseason mvp really quick and then we'll end today's video all right here we go awards juan soto playoff mvp and then aaron judge world series mvp he had himself a world series and juan soto actually did pretty well in the postseason as well for the team as a whole, I mean, Verlander was holy cow. Hendricks was a little shaky. Fires did very well. Um, that last game, ooh, perfect. Cueto, yikes. And then Kershaw did well too. Vargas, Robles, Bartolo, James Shields, yikes. Um, Craig Kimbrell did well. And then Aroldis Chapman, not so much. We'll take a look at the lineup, see how things went. The bench bench was useless we didn't need the bench at all Juan Soto whew, Aaron Judge we got Puig Encarnacion was a little man um Real Muto Hamilton and Dietrich overall really happy with the team and again guys I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always in the comment section let me know players that I missed out on the meme team and also some future videos you would like to see. On screen now is going to be a video that YouTube recommends for you, as well as the subscribe button. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit it and turn on all bell notification icons. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.